One of the biggest lies banks are telling us is that our money grows in our bank. Higher interest rates, better management. Banks frequently encourage us to deposit and save money with them. But is this the truth? Are we really getting better service? In reality, we're not. Moreover, we may actually be losing money when we save it in a bank. Money saved in banks might increase over time due to interest rates, but on the bigger scale of inflation, the money is actually depreciating with time. In this video, we'll unveil seven powerful assets that not only halt the erosion of your wealth, but also pave the way to building a legacy of generational prosperity. Stay tuned until the end. Number seven is the big secret of the rich. God's Money, the ultimate hedge against inflation. Ever watched a heist movie? If the target is on a bank over 80% of the time, the items being carted away in the safe are unusually rare metals, such as gold, silver, diamonds, or other metals. Why do you think this is the case? Well, believe it or not, cash will always remain ink on paper. And in a doomsday scenario, it's not going to help you much. On the other hand, these precious metals will exponentially rise during these times. Forget doomsday and think about just regular inflation. Untouched cash in the bank depreciates over time and reduces in buying power. But the same can't be said about ounces of rare metals such as gold because rather when stored away, they increase in value. Take a look at this. In 1969, an ounce of gold sold for just $40. Fast forward to the year 2000 and the value has increased by about 600%, selling for about $279. And now the same ounce of gold is selling at about $1,900. From the year 2000 to now, that is about another 600% increase. A stash of cash kept under your bed won't have the same value unless, of course, one of your ancestors held on to their coins from very long ago and never spent them. In this scenario, you might end up with a very valuable coin that could be valued from thousands of millions of dollars, depending on its value. Another natural resource is land. Land and real estate, beyond mortgages to mansions. In times when banks and the stock market are not so reliable, investing in real estate can be a good idea. It's like becoming a landlord. You put some money into a property, fix it up if needed, find tenants to rent it, and they pay for the property while you own it. Or, if you're experienced and want to make quick money, you might think about buying a house and selling it for profit. When done well, real estate investment can make you a lot of money. But you have to know that it can also be risky and unpredictable. On average, over the past 20 years, investing in houses and other kinds of real estate has made about 10% in returns which is a bit better than what you'd get with the S&P 500 stock index. However, real estate prices can be all over the place, especially in the short term. A big example of this unpredictability is the housing bubble that burst in 2007 and caused the Great Recession. It made lots of people lose their jobs and homes, and the housing market completely collapsed. If you're into managing property, you might consider low-maintenance assets, like collectibles. Limited Edition Luxuries – From Collectibles to Cash Cows Collectibles or limited edition items range across a variety of items, such as cars, bags, art, jewelry, or even action figures. Back in the 1950s, the iconic Kelly bags from Hermes had a price tag of approximately $900. Today, if you're looking to purchase a standard Kelly bag, typically crafted from exquisite leathers like Clements or Togo, you can expect to pay nearly $10,000. Limited edition pieces can even command staggering prices of up to $260,000. This remarkable price hike over the span of half a century reflects a staggering increase of over 1,000% from their original cost. Back then, a standard Birkin bag could be acquired by roughly $2,000. Currently, the price tag for a standard Birkin hovers around $10,000 to $12,000, while those crafted from exotic skins can effortlessly reach six-figure sums. Not into bags? How about vintage cars, or better still, action figures? The Star Wars franchise is no doubt one of the largest and longest standing in cinematic history, with dedicated fans from all over the globe and their action figures do fetch a lot. 
you could easily purchase an original Star Wars action figure for about $5 to $10 in the 1990s. But a couple decades later, these same figures, still in mint condition, go as high as selling for $10,000 to $30,000 on auction. That's a staggering 200,000 to 600,000 percent increase. Another mind-blowing example is the first edition of the Amazing Spider-Man comic. When Stan Lee's timeless tale of Peter Parker, a high school outcast turned superhero after a radioactive spider bite, was first published in 1962, it sold for a mere 12 cents. Fast forward to 2011, when ComicConnect.com CEO Stephen Fischler sold a copy for a jaw-dropping $1.1 million. Industrial Commodities – Fortune in the Foundations Metal, concrete, and chemicals are the building blocks of the global economy. Virtually every sector relies on these fundamental materials. Stocks within the material sector are associated with companies engaged in the manufacturing, mining, and production of these essential materials. These businesses play a crucial role in enabling production across industries worldwide. One straightforward method to gain exposure to these sectors is by investing in mutual funds and exchange-traded funds ETFs, like the Vanguard Materials Index Fund VAW, and the Industrial Select Sector SPDR Fund XLI. These funds track sector benchmarks while keeping costs relatively low, as pointed out by Messina. Many portfolios commonly include the S&P 500 as a mutual fund or ETF choice. Within the S&P 500, the industrial sector represents 11% of the index, while the materials sector accounts for 3%. This allocation offers investors a diversified approach to these sectors as part of a broader investment strategy. Business – Cultivating Wealth Investing in a business can yield returns on your capital, but it's contingent on the business ability to generate a profit. During challenging economic periods, businesses can face hardships too. On the other hand, farming presents itself as a tangible venture, though not always a consistently lucrative one. The beauty of farming, however, is that you need not personally engage in the laborious tasks. By opting for an investment farm model, you can employ a dedicated staff to manage the day-to-day -day agricultural operations. From another perspective, owning farmland aligns well with the survivalist outlook. As the land can serve as a potential source of sustenance in the event of global crisis or disruptions in the financial system. Are you into bonds? Federal Bonds – Safeguarding Your Wealth The U.S. Treasury and Federal Reserve would be more than willing to accept your funds and, in return, issue you with securities. And these are considered to be exponentially secure investments. A U.S. government bond is still widely regarded as a risk-free security in most educational materials. However, it's worth noting that a substantial number of individuals and institutions have already recognized this, and they've entered the bond market ahead of others. This surge in demand has pushed bond rates down to historically low levels during times of crisis. For instance, on April 9, 2020, the yield from a 10-year Treasury note hit a record low of 0.73%. If the prospect of these low rates doesn't discourage you, other governmental assets are safe haven currencies. Safe haven currencies When it comes to safe haven currencies, some of the top choices are the Japanese yen, the euro, the Swiss franc, and the US dollars. However, of all these, the Swiss franc is mostly preferred because of its higher stability. Switzerland boasts a robust economic system that thrives on sustainable, albeit modest, growth rates and well-managed demands. Even in times of global crises or wars, you can be sure that the Swiss franc will stand strong even when other currencies fall. This is not only because the country has high economic sustainability, but also because it is a politically neutral country that doesn't involve itself in the political games of the world. An example of the Swiss franc's appeal is the global financial crisis of 2008, which originated in the United States. During this tumultuous period, funds shifted away from the U.S. currency and securities and flowed towards Swiss assets. Such occurrences underscore Switzerland's attractiveness as a safe haven for preserving wealth during economic uncertainties. The multination European debt crisis from 2009 to 2013 witnessed several European countries grappling with economic challenges. 
in a bid to safeguard their currencies, especially the euro, they transferred funds to Switzerland, effectively pegging them to the Swiss franc. Russia, known for its significant revenue from oil and gas sales, traditionally held its earnings in U.S. dollars, U.S. securities, and gold as secure assets. However, recent sanctions imposed by the United States and the European Union have prompted Russia to explore alternatives to U.S. dollars and securities. Additionally, the devaluation of the Russian ruble has driven both Russian investors and businesses to seek stable currencies, with many opting for the Swiss franc as a safe haven. Speaking about wealth, financial education is so crucial. It's so important to learn to understand your own mistakes and that there is more than what schools teach us. Learn the number one reason young people stay poor.